Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about is the decision to go for two by Ron Rivera, was that the correct decision for the Washington football team, and I'm also going to give you guys a very important injury update on Sadiq Charles, so if you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content, so let's get right into the video, and remember, check out House of Hoodies, use, use code Pedro for 15% off your purchase. So first, you guys will get my opinion, and then after that, I will show you guys what Ron Rivera said today in his press conference, and also give you guys an injury update on Sadiq Charles. So my opinion, I would not have gone for two in that situation. First off, you are one and four, and you have a chance to, if you win this game and Dallas loses, you have a chance to be first place in the division. And you, in the second half, you didn't completely dominate it, but you were definitely the better football team in the second half. Your defense had pretty much dominated in the second half. You allowed seven points, but that was the offense who turned the ball over and they got a touch and off the fumble. So the defense allowed zero points, zero in the second half, played really well overall, only allowed really one long drive, and they actually got a turnover off of that. Besides that, they played really, really well. And I personally, you kick the extra point, you tie it up, they have 30 seconds to get about 45 yards, and the chances of them doing that are slim. And also... Your offense was starting to, you know, get the ball down the field in the second half. They had like two or three possessions where they got it to the red zone. And I think you take your chances on that. You have to trust your defense. Even if the Giants got the ball first in overtime, I would still have been confident in us winning that game just because of how good our defense was playing. And I think at the very least our offense could have gotten a field goal. Another reason why I don't think it's a great decision is because look who who's calling plays for you. I mean, if you look at that play at the end of the game, no one was open at all. Antonio Gibson actually got kind of got pushed over and it should have been pass interference, but no one was really open. And I think if you're going to go for two, you have to be super confident in your play caller, but not only that, but you have to make sure you have a good play. Like that, that was not a play that was going to get you two points. Also, we aren't the best offensively and we just, I can't remember the last time we've converted a two point conversion. I know we're 0 for three this whole year. It's not the smartest idea. Another thing is it would have been totally different if, you know, we're down 19 to 20, we're playing the Kansas City Chiefs, and we want to go for the win. If it's in that case, I would, you know, I, I would probably somewhat agree with the decision because you're playing the Kansas City Chiefs, the best team in the NFL, or at least one of the best teams in the NFL. And if you just kick the extra point, you're going to have to play their offense in the second half or in overtime. And you know, they're the better team and you know, they have the better quarterback by far. So they're going to win the game. But when you're playing against the giants, the O and five giants who, you know, have not been good at all, played terrible offensively in the second half. And, you know, defensively, they weren't great in the second half either. And, you can easily win that game going to overtime. Like I said, I would have understood it if you're going up against an elite team where, you know, you know they're the better team, so you might as well take your chances on going for two. But, like, the Giants' offense was not doing anything. They had 112 passing, or 108 passing yards um, total because he had one negative four-yard um, throw, and they had 132 yards rushing, so... Overall, that is not that much. 240 yards offensively. We had over, th we had like 330. We almost had 100 more yards in them. And I just think overall, we played the better game and we had, um, even though we weren't, we didn't start out good in the first half. We, in the second half, we played a lot better, especially defensively. And, you know, we were moving the ball down the field. And if not for that Kyle Allen fumble, we would have won. But besides that, he just took us on like a 80 yard drive and got us to, we scored a touchdown. And I think he could have done that again in overtime or at the very least gotten us a field goal. That's my take on it. And I'm not just saying it because of the result. I actually said it regardless of the outcome of this play. I would have kicked the PAT. That's just me. 
Um, this is what Ron Rivera said, you know, um, a lot of the same old stuff, but this was interesting that I thought he said, Ron Rivera says if they had been down 20 to 19 at home, he probably would have kicked the extra point. That to me doesn't make sense at all. And I know there's fans and everything. And I guess the fans and playing at home, gives you a slight advantage, I guess. And I, I still don't really understand that that much here. We'll look at a, um, Let's look at this right here. This is what Ron Rivera said. Right, and that's pretty much the approach that I use. We were on the road. Sure, there wasn't any fan or there weren't any fans, but to be honest with you, I'd even he's talking about on his mentality of going for two on the road versus home. I didn't even think about that. The only thing I was thinking about was just this was an opportunity for us to win. You're gonna get down at the two yard line. Um, you feel good about the play call. You feel good about the guys who. Uh, who are out on the field. We just scored. We had momentum. We had energy. So I figured that now was the chance to do something and see if we could use it, unfortunately, or if we could do it. That just, it, it doesn't make sense for me. Yes, you have all the momentum in the world. That's, you, you admitted it. You admitted it. You had all the momentum in the world. So why not carry that momentum over to overtime? I, th th that baffles me right there, especially him saying that. Like, it doesn't make sense to put your whole game on one play on a two-point conversion that, you know, we're not good at converting. And then to clarify, basically, I mean, if this situation had, had happened at FedEx Field, fans or not, you would probably would have gone for the tie as opposed to the win, right? Is that fair? Um, yeah, just looking at what the statistics tell us. Well, it's the statistics don't necessarily matter. I mean, of course, analytics matter and everything, but... It's a game by game, player by player approach. And the way this game was going, I feel very confident that we would have won that game if he would have kicked the extra point and made it. So, uh, this is what Ron Rivera said. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, Dustin Hopkins, his job is secure. Someone asked him today in the press conference. And just to make sure, um, you know, he hasn't played good at all this year. Maybe they'll move on after this year, depending on how he plays. He's seven for 10, but he's missed a couple easy ones. And yesterday was a killer. And now on to the Sadiq Charles injury update real quick. So he suffered a dislocated kneecap in Sunday's loss against the Giants. Current timeline is two to three weeks sideline. Um, hopefully. Washington faces Dallas then in week eight by rough break during his first career start. So, you know, I personally thought it was going to be a little bit worse. And, you know, of course, it's bad news that he got hurt. And, you know, it was only two off. It was only two plays. But in those two plays, he re looked really good. And it was just so disappointing to see him out because, you know, maybe that would have been a diff the difference in us winning or not. I have no idea. But it's a tough break for him. We play the Cowboys next week. He is not going to play that game. But the good news is, is we have our bye week. So, you know, we might get some players back after that because our bye week is week eight. So right after the Cowboys game. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Steven Sims comes back after that game. Sadiq Charles, hopefully. There's a couple other players, maybe Isaiah Wright, because, you know, he had that arm issue. I doubt he plays this week. Same with AGG. We are very, very thin at the wide receiver position. We got Terry McLaurin, um, Dontrell Inman, and then besides that, we got a couple others that Cam Sims, I guess, is going to get a lot more playing time, but... We're going to have to start involving our running backs, you know, lining up our running backs a little bit more in the slot and as a wide receiver because our running backs or our receivers are very, we're very thin at the position already, but especially with these injuries today, um, Steven Sims was, or yesterday, Steven Sims has already been out and then AGG, we don't know an update on him or Isaiah Wright, but you know, we'll be lucky if one of those guys plays this weekend. So, you know, this decision at the end of the day. We lost the game and we have to move forward, but I really thought we should have kicked a PAT and move on from there. Let me know what you guys think about um, the Sadiq Charles injury and also what you think about the decision to go for two instead of kicking the extra point and going to overtime. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. Peace.